Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you and thank you indeed for joining us in our today's edition of My Opinion. It has been a great pleasure to keep on hosting you each and every Thursday morning starting from 9 and we are also very grateful that today you have chosen to join us and uh, we have a very great show ahead of us. Many thanks to each and every one of you who have been supporting us in uh, the way you've been following our content every week. And if you didn't follow our last week's episode where we were talking about youth and depression, kindly visit uh, this channel, uh, Timo Dindua, uh, click on the same, follow, and it will be good even as you share with your friends. We have more and more content there and it, it will be good to see you following and uh, we really appreciate you. Thank you also for subscribing to this channel and making our work come to you right from the comfort of your desk or your phones. It has been indeed a very great pleasure always. My name is Timo Dindua and I'm hosting today's show and we really thank God because even of the team that we are bringing this show to you together with, many thanks to you all and God bless you. Today we come to you courtesy of ACK Dika Talent Circle. We really wish to thank them uh, right from the board of directors, uh, the staff at the circle, all our branch leaders and all our members. We indeed say a very big thank you for enabling us to bring this program to our viewers and our followers. Today we have a great show and we are talking about Christians and borrowing, all Christian borrowing. Today we'll be answering a number of questions and I will be sharing with us my opinion of a Christian borrowing. And um, many people uh, have the idea that maybe the Bible doesn't talk about borrowing or it doesn't support Christians uh, borrowing. Uh, many people will refer to the Bible. You go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 12 where the Bible says that um, you will lead to many and you will not borrow from any. And people may think that the Bible does not l talk about borrowing or it does not support borrowing in whichever way. Uh, but uh, it's good and I feel in my opinion that as much as the Bible does not uh, all talks about this being one of the blessings that you will not borrow but you will lend to many, it does not in any way demonize the issue of borrowing. You also go to the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 8 and the Bible talks about uh, let no debt remain outstanding apart from the debt of love. And people, some people may take that one and may feel like it is not right for a Christian to owe anything or to go to a financial institution to borrow or even to go to a friend and borrow anything that uh, they think that any time you have a debt, that means that you are not in line with what the scripture talks about. And I want to share with you my opinion and it will also be very great even as you share with me your opinion over the same, Christianity and borrowing. Now, welcome to the program. Well, uh, many times, many people fall into a trap uh, because they do not know the entire truth concerning our finances and concerning how we can excel in our finances. Now, any time you come across a deficit in your uh, way or uh, in your business or in your life, you tend to go and look for means to meet that deficit. When you are lacking in one way, you go to God in prayer and God being our Father who is in heaven, you ask him to bless you uh, with finances or with money or with a certain breakthrough. And God uses different ways to meet our needs. 
You know, his ways are very far from our ways and his thoughts are very far from our thoughts. And God may decide to use whichever way to meet our needs. And um, borrowing is one of those ways that God can use. And I am grateful that in the scriptures, the Bible appreciates that indeed it is possible for one to go to a creditor and get a facility. But now, what brings this problem that when Christians, some Christians go to look for financial assistance, they either make the wrong decisions, they do it the wrong way, they end up uh, having problems in repaying, and at the end of the day, they find themselves in a great challenge that they cannot be able to really see the blessing uh, that is coming from the borrowing. And so at the end of the day, such a Christian will demonize the entire issue of borrowing and they will feel that it is not right in any way for a Christian to have a credit facility. But over this issue, and I want to say that borrowing in itself is not uh, sinful it's not demonic it's not it's not a bad thing borrowing is simply uh, having a facility to cater for the deficit that you could be having in meeting your needs or in covering your needs but there are some few issues that everyone ought to consider before even going to approach either that friend of yours either that financial institution or any other source of uh, financial uh, support, before even approaching them, there are a number of things that you ought to consider. And if you do good calculations, if you are able to follow these few guidelines that I'm giving you, I feel, in my opinion, that you will see the great blessing that is hidden in borrowing. Because, as I have said, and I can repeat, that borrowing in itself is not bad. But how you do it, you might end up experiencing a bigger challenge than the one that you had in the very beginning. Now, friends, by the time you think about going to seek that credit facility, it is important you think about what do you want to do? with that facility. Think about the purpose for which you are requiring these extra finances. Now, in the event you find that the purpose consumer needs, the purpose is to meet your, uh, your, your, your domestic expenditure, then at the end of the day, you may find yourself struggling much in repaying the debt. It is important to understand that any single debt extended, whether by your local shopkeeper or your friend or a financial institution, but any debt extended will always come with some terms and conditions. And some of the terms that will come along with that is how you will be repaying the debt. And so if the purpose for your borrowing is simply to cater for your domestic needs, to cater for your consumer needs, you may end up having a challenge in, borrow, uh, uh, in repaying the debt. But if the purpose is maybe to meet a certain business need, to meet your working capital deficit, or to meet you know, a need that will eventually generate more revenue to yourself, then you will not have any problem, you will not be struggling. So it is always important you consider the purpose for which you are uh, borrowing this money. Now the second thing it is important for every Christian to consider, in my opinion, is the loan amount or the borrowed amount, the amount that you want to borrow. Now this ought to go hand in hand with the need that you have. You know, if you have a need of 10,000 Kenya shillings, and then you go to seek 
financing of 20,000 Kenya shillings. Now you will do what we call overborrowing. And once you overborrow, the extra 10,000, which will not go to your specific need, may end up being misused. And at the end of the day, you will find yourself that you invested 10,000 well, but you have a debt of 20,000. And it is the 10,000 that you invested which will be required to pay the 20,000 facility which you'll be having. And so, in my opinion, before you even think about going to seek that as a specific amount that you may need for your business or for your project, think about exactly how much do you need. Now, for example, if you want to build uh, some apartments and you need some million of shillings to have uh, the, the projects done, ensure that you have you or you or you are borrowing amount equals the entire amount that you need for that project or for the first phase of the project or for whichever uh, extent you want to borrow the money this is because if you borrow amount that will not complete the project and so you will not get tenants getting into the business what happens to your loan you will find yourself you have a loan you have a project that is incomplete and you cannot be able to repay. And in such a time, you'll start feeling that you made the wrong mistake to do the borrowing. And so it will be hurting you more than the blessing that you could have expected from that particular borrowing. Always consider the amount that you need. Again, if your need is that of 10,000 Kenya shillings, and you go to look for 5,000 shillings, what happens, you will have a borrowed. And a da borrowing is also quite uh, dangerous because you'll be having an incomplete project as well. You'll not be able to meet the need that you have for, uh, for, your, for your business or for, for your project. Now, the third thing I want to talk about is about the period of the repayment. Now, nowadays, many Christians have gotten themselves into seeking financial uh, services, even from mobile lenders, and some are quite expensive. Some will require you to pay within a very short, uh, short period of time. I want you to think about a product or a facility that you will want to uh, maybe m build uh, or to, to invest in an area whose returns are not immediate. And then you are given a short period of time to repay, six months, three, uh, th three weeks, or even uh, one month, or even one year, sometimes for very huge amounts of money. That will always bring you a problem because you'll be expected to repay quite fast before the area or the project you are injecting the finances to start generating capital or uh, revenue for you. And so always think, if you want to meet an, emergent, uh, 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 an emergency or a quick need you want to fix, you can take that quick uh, uh, loan or that uh, short-term loan. But if you are thinking about a long-term project, a project which may take a number of years before you complete or a number of months before you complete, just take a long period of time and then you'll be able to keep on repaying in a very comfortable manner. The project may start generating revenue for you and you end up finally able to pay without any problem. The other thing I want to advise you, Christian, which I feel in my opinion will be very helpful for you even as you consider uh, borrowing, is the repayment frequency. Now, depending with how your business is, suppose your business is that of a school, and most of the schools will get a lot of revenue in January, in um, April, and maybe in September. Then if you take a facility that you're supposed to pay equal installments every month, you might find yourself struggling at some point. There are some businesses that are very seasonal. They have the high season and the low season. Some people are farmers. They are doing uh, tea farming. 
until farming will get one major major income in December and maybe a, 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 another one in April. But on monthly basis, there's very little to get from the farming. So it is important you consider how is the frequency of the loan repayment so that depending with the seasonality of your business, you will be able to do a good job. You'll be able uh, to cater for all your loan repayment or your loan installments. Finally, it is important you consider the cost of the facility. Don't go for that quite expensive facility. You know, people will go to Shylocks, people will go to mobile lenders, irrespective of how much they are charging as uh, interest rates. And I'm telling you, many people today have been blacklisted with CRB or by CRB. Many people can't access any further financing because they went to a platform, a mobile app, which they thought would help them. And uh, they did not consider the interest rate. They simply looked at the ease of accessing their credit and they went for it. And what happened later on? They realized that the interest rate was quite huge, far beyond the revenue they were collecting from the, the investments that they made with the money. And at the end of the day, what happens? They cannot be able to pay those loans. Those loans have ended up being bad. They have defaulted. And today they have no peace because every single day, people are after them, calling them left, right, and center because they need the money paid back. And so my friends, in my opinion, these are critical things that every Christian should consider by the time you are thinking about accessing that credit facility. And my friends, I also feel in my opinion that as much as borrowing is not bad, but everything should be done in utmost care. The blessings of God maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. And so a good, well-planned uh, debt will bring a blessing to your life and it should not be the cause of your high blood pressure. It should not be the cause of your depression. It should not be uh, the cause of many problems and more challenges to your financial life. I feel, in my opinion, if you, the borrowing that you're intending to make is, uh, is well-founded, it will then make you rich. It will bring a blessing to your life. That is purely my opinion on this matter and I would think and I know that you could also be having your opinion over the same and um, I want to encourage you just drop a comment down there and uh, share with us what you think about this uh, issue if it has indeed benefited you kindly put it down at the comment section it will be good to read and to follow the benefits that you are getting from this program. We also feel the very much uh, honored that today we had SEK Vika Tal and Sako with us and um, we really thank God for them and we pray that God may bless them and uh, from here my opinion this Thursday I wish to uh, uh, pray that God will continually bless you and in all your borrowing may God direct you and give you all the wisdom that you need in making the great decisions that you are supposed to make. And from me, Timothy Dua, and the entire My Opinion crew, God bless you and have a very blessed time.